Hello everyone, my name is JerryBR and welcome back to Digimon Survive. So we're going to cut right back into Bolt Bullamon basically laughing maniacally. Listen to you going on about second chances, about moving forward. You are such fools. What's gone into you all of us? Did the master possess him? Kaito, stop! He's, he's changed. He's nothing like he was before. Caught on, did you? Well, I'm afraid you're a little too late. <laughs> what? Gotcha. What? Well, Bodemon yanked Mayuki right out of Renamon's hand, capturing her for himself. Renamon! Forget about me. Save Mayuki. Well, Bodemon, stop. I never told you to do that. Oh, but aren't you the one who told me to destroy the world, Kaito? I don't care about that anymore. Now let go of Mayuki. That's not going to work. Both Botamon has changed. He had the feel of Drachmon about him before, but that is gone now. What? No. That would mean we're really talking to... <laughs> I see you finally realized what happened, Kaito. Is your wish for his revenge, your desire for destruction that powered this fusion. Once those emotions faded from within you, your bond with Bolt Boltamon was lost. And now it is I, Piedmon, the other member of this fusion, whose will is ascended. You bastard! Was that your plan from the start? Oh, had you actually brought an end to both worlds, that would have suited me just fine. But it turns out, you just didn't have it in you. A shame. A real shame. However, the all-consuming fire of revenge, which you felt at our fusion, still burns within me. So I will do what you could not. Destroy both the Master and the two worlds for you. And you intend to use Mayuki for that purse? Pur Let her go! Didn't you take her from the Master to begin with? But it might put her in danger again. Isn't it obvious? So that I can take her and gain her power instead of the master. What? No, stop! Now, as I recall, you were bound to this girl by fate, were you not? In which case, once I take her in and she is no more, that will be the end of you as well. Wait, no! I don't care about what happens to me. Please, just let Mayuki go. Ah, how tragic, really. It's heartbreaking. The least I could do is end this quickly. Rena, Mon. Mayuki! What the fuck? Oh, Professor's over here. Roar! What? Hmm, how dare you sneak up behind me. Yeah! You too, Kaito? He may not be awake right now, but half of you is Drachmon. I'm not letting you force him to go along with my mistake anymore. Mayuki, now, run away while we hold him. Ha ha ha, oh my, what a farce. Ha <laughs> ha, huh? What's happening? I'm being pulled into both Boltamon? Professor, Kaito! Fools, fuse with me along with the Maiden. And witness the destruction of both worlds. Kaito? Oh, no! You'll just get pulled in too! But if we don't do something, we're going to lose Kaito. Stay back! What? Takuma, everyone, I'm sorry, but you got this. You know, being friends wasn't so bad. And, oh, even Mayuki's gone? Shit. Oh no, Prof Kaito, Professor, Mayuki. They've all been taken. Which means, no, it can't be. Oh, Haru was awesome on the team. Uh, uh. Renamon has reverted to his original form, and he is in such pain. It's just like with Kunmon, Botmon, and Sayakamon. He's disappearing into the light. 
Mayuki, Mayuki, I'm sorry. I couldn't protect. Man. So out of the ten of us, there's only six left, right? Four, four left, I mean. Wait, if Renamon's disappeared, then that means Mayuki. It's not just Mayuki. The professor and Kaito got taken t in too. Ah, oh, so Garurumon's gone. Does that mean they're all dead? No, no, this can't be happening. Ha ha ha. Now I have ultimate power and the power of the maiden. I am supreme. Prepare yourself, master, for soon you will face me. Fueled by my hatred for this world burning within me, I will end your futile existence. Well, he's gone. Eh, he didn't seem to care about us at all. Minoru's voice is trembling. And it's not just Minoru, that was a pretty big shock for all of us. Not only did we not save Mayuki and Kaito, we lost Renamon and the Professor too. I can feel my heart sinking towards some black abyss, and my whole body feels heavy. But despite that, I know we can't stop here. There's still something we need to do. We we need to follow Bol Boltamon. Takuma, can you really mean that? I can, and I do. I just, I can't let it end like this. Bol Boltamon is going to take on the Master, but no matter who wins... Either way, it could mean terrible things for our world. Exactly. So no matter how scared or sad we might be, we need to get back on our feet. Maybe what I'm saying is wishful thinking. Maybe I'm putting everyone in danger. But I don't want to give up. I don't want all those sacrifices to have been in vain. You're right. We need to save this world. Kaito and the professor, Haru and Mayuki, they're all gone now. But that just means it all comes down to us. Even if we win, we may not be able to go home. You mean because we lost Mayuki? Yeah. Even if we defeat Bolt Boltamon, we'll have to take on the Master after that. I'm not gonna lie, we're in for some tough fights. It may mean losing more of us. If we don't do anything, we won't have any world left to live in. So I'm going. What do you say? <laughs> I'm going too. Minoru. There's nowhere left to run. This is our only option. So I'm going to give this all I got. I, I'm going too. Yes, I will fight by your side. Me too. After all, I don't want to die. And I don't want anyone to have to go through this again. You said it, Saki. We need to keep going. If that is what we are doing, I will go as well. I will watch over Minoru's every step. And I'll look out for Aoi, so let's all go save the world. Yeah, you know I'm going too. I'm sticking with Takuma right to the end. And I want you to be there with me, Agumon. After all, you're my partner. We've been bound together by fate. Right? We're partners. And the fate of the world is in our hands. Now let's go get Bolt Boltamon. Alright. We should be approaching, like, final fights whoa what is this place this is really starting to feel epic yeah this place definitely has its own feel to it it's kind of scary hey don't say that you want to get the rest of us scared too do you really think it's that bad just look at the walls. Now I can't help but see human faces in those patterns. I, I, you idiot! Why would you even say that? Now I'm even more scared. Let's try to focus on what's in front of us and keep moving, or we'll make things worse. Good thinking. Let's try not to pay too much attention to the walls. Are you talking to yourself? Um, what the fuck just happened? Guys, check this out. Didn't we just say not to look at the walls? Yeah, I know, but look at this. It's an engraving. It's creepy, is what it is. It really is a creepy engraving. 
It shows children being dropped from a pie. Only to be eaten by something waiting for them on the ground. It's like a scene from hell. What the fuck? Are we all separated? And taken wherever the master is? Wait a second. This is what the intro was like when it introduced everyone, isn't it? Is the oh wait, no, the background here is just a same as these. Takuma. Agumon, are you okay? I'm fine. So is everyone else too. Look. Entered the final battle. Well, hmm. Oh. Thanks for the achievement. Which, speaking of the achievements, does remind me, like, um... 355 out of a thousand. Like, I think I'm missing some. Like, I can't believe there's that many left that I'm missing. Man, what a weird feeling. It's like I can't tell if I'm sitting down or standing up. Stay on your guard, Minoru. Place like this, the enemy could be anywhere. That's right. Be careful, Saki. The enemy might suddenly attack from somewhere. Hey, don't scare me like that. Where are we anyway? Is the master here, Bolt Boltamon? Oh, look over there. There's a fight going on. We finally get to see where the master is. What the fuck is that? It's Bolt Boltamon. And is that the master? I don't know what the fuck that is. Traitorous fool. Did you really think you could defeat me? Is both Boltamon defeated? Oh. You are a threat. Uh, yet you too are to become my prey. Uh, you're pretty strong. <laughs> As befits the master of this world. Now I will grant you eternal rest. Come, you shall be one with me. Hey, <laughs> fine then. Go on and take me in, if you think you can. Does he just immediately take him in? What? He's, he's, he's letting himself be eaten? Is he going to try to take over the master from within? <laughs> Now you are mine, once more. The power of the maiden, an abundance of knowledge, yes, yes, it floods through me. The master seems, somehow, revitalized. He may have regained Mayuki's power by consuming both Boltamon whole. Wait, does that mean he has the power to open the door between worlds? This is bad, we need to defeat him now. Right, he's still worn out from fighting both Boltamon. This is our chance to stop him and save both worlds. Yeah. Look, now we don't have to fight both of them. What the fuck is this? That's not a Digimon. Six more. It's gonna be a ten. You gonna have ten Digimon on my side? I was gonna put Ward Greymon in for Vero Duromon, so I didn't have two of them, but I can't save. Master defeated or all annihilated? I just want to see like super ultimate. I'm guessing that's where I need to attack. Alright, can't do any damage with him. I also don't like everyone rushing in here, but... Because I'm assuming he's going to have some AoE attacks. Um...
Let's see, that attack can move two spaces. So I need to move like here. Just so he can accelerate him. There's nothing like else in this void. Okay, now. She cannot reach. I really. I thought somebody might be able to get an attack. No. Nope. Really? No one? Uh, he has range, doesn't he? Not as much. Talk to Agumon. Get him up in here. Agumon's got to be able to get close enough to do damage. Hundred percent chance to hit. Oh, I should have boosted his attack, but I guess we'll boost Anubismon. I'm surprised he's going last, but I'm assuming they like wanted me to go all out in advancing. Like, oh. I wonder if he's just gonna like instant kill one person on my team each turn. Oh, that's not terrible. Can't use special. Oh well. He'll just get his eye clawed out and trigger a cutscene. Take this! Oh, oh what's happening? Uh, did we do it? I don't know. Something's not right. I know this feeling. It's the same as when we first met Bo Boltamon. Yeah, we feel it too. It's as if some sort of evil is bubbling up from within the Master. Could could Bo Boltamon be trying to take over the Master from the inside? I mean, he was, he did intentionally sacrifice himself. So that's probably not that surprising. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Precisely, his power, his mind at last. Yes, it's a good thing I took in the maiden, or I'd never have reached the master's mind directly to take control of his body. Why would you even try something so risky? That could have been the end of you. Isn't it obvious? For vengeance. You mean because of Kaito's feelings that were still inside of you? Because of them, yes. And something else as well. I have two reasons to seek revenge. Kaito's hatred for the world, 
and my own hatred for the master. So you actually hated the master, Boltamon? Or should I say Piedmon? The master deceived me into becoming his puppet, into believing if I did as he said, this world would be saved. Yet all the while we were no more than pawns to him. No, he didn't even hold us in that much regard. Such was the love of our god. <laughs> the master is no god of anything. He's nothing but a writhing mass of power, driven by an immense hatred. To think that the inhabitants of this world would revere such a being with no thoughts, no ideals, nothing but an empty drive to preserve its life. It's pathetic. <laughs> what are you babbling on about? What do you mean an empty drive to preserve its life? <laughs> Did I lose you? Well, it's of little consequence. After all, the master is no more. All that's left of him now is a drive that stirs up the rage which swirls within me. Oh, speaking of what swirls within me, all those who were sacrificed to the master have now become a part of me. I can feel their minds spiraling around inside. Thousands, tens of thousands. Of course, that includes your friends, too. Oh, how awful. Kaito, Miu. Does that mean Ryu and Shuji are within the master? Within you? Yes, they petty, their petty and contemptible thoughts keep spinning on endlessly. Help me, let me live, it hurts. They think only of themselves as they suffer. Well, I'm about to put an end to their suffering, along with both worlds. What? What are you planning? It's very simple. I use the power of the maiden and do this. Blind me. Alright, so we have a portal. Huh? What's that light? That's the same thing Mayuki created. It's the door between worlds. You mean that thing is connected to our world? Well, didn't you want to go back home? You need only step through that door. I won't stop you after all. Both this world and your human one will soon be gone. We're not going to let that happen. Why not? Isn't that what Kaito wished for? A world where people happily trample upon others for their own ambitions? A world of falsity and deceit built on the sacrifices of others? A world that was always victimizing his sister. Kaito wanted to end all that. You're wrong. Kaito's rage lives on within me, and I will destroy everything. That was his wish. I can feel it even now as his consciousness swirls. That's not right. It isn't what Kaito wanted. He turned away from that. Yeah, Kaito never hurt anyone because he wanted to. He was always kind and thoughtful, and he hated anything that wasn't right. He only turned to destruction because he thought he needed to get revenge for Miu. That's why when he heard what he had to say, he realized he'd made a mistake. That's right. Kaito may have made mistakes sometimes, or gotten a little carried away, but all he really wanted was to keep Miu safe. He only turned to re revenge because it let him avoid facing his failure to protect him, her. Maybe a part of Kaito did want to bring uh, an end to the world without Miu in it. But even so, we all believe that Kaito was able to let go of that anger. He learned from his mistake. He was trying to move forward. From the moment you lost your connection with Kaito, that rage inside you wasn't his. You're just using his pain as an excuse for your own desires. <laughs> well, much as I find this conversation fascinating, it's also pointless. I'm done talking. If you seek to deny my will, if you would impose your own instead... 
then you can risk your very existence to try and stop me. Alright, another fight? Sweet. Alright, but only two can come this time. That's weird, but... Okay. Um... I guess this one, just because it will get us there a little bit quicker. Bol Boltamon Fusion defeated. Okay. I didn't get an achievement for that last fight. If I move up here. Oops. Just move two steps forward and do this. So, is he giving like everyone some kind of poison ish damage? Just that they lose 122 health? way. Even though, well, I guess if it slows him down one turn. Did not do much damage. Uh, oh shoot. I meant to do that to Aoi. able to get two attacks in. That might be I've done a quarter damage. Yeah, it'll do a little bit of damage. Might take up a takes up a lot of her SP, but... Right. Oh shit. I think I might be able to get them to move back one space. This hit? Yeah. Oh, they're both stunned. Shoot. attack? No. Um, cures all stat reduction. We'll see if that fixes her. Yes.
I glanced down for one second. Kills two of my Digimon. Okay, cool. Cutscene. Is that all you've got? Well then, I think it's time we ended this. What? Has he been hiding some sort of ultimate attack? Not good. Everyone, look out. Look all you want, it won't help you. This is the power of the destroyer of worlds. Now be gone, all of. Gah. Uh, gah. Huh? What just happened? That song. Why do I hear that song? Uh, all of you. Why? Where's this power coming from? Uh, stop it. Stop tearing at me. Inside. Become my power. Uh. Takuma? Is this what I think it is? Someone's holding both Boltamon back from inside? Kaito, Miu. Ryo, Shuji. Professor, Mayuki. Grr, stop. 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 Takuma, now, let's finish him. Yeah, let's go. This ends now. Okay, so that... That just happened in the middle of my turn. So you can back up. Well, now I can just uh, loop way back. How's everyone's health doing? Whoop. I'm gonna go most of the way back. Um, just heal Minoru, just in case. Because this might finish him. Victory. Alright. Is that my. Th well. Alright, so level up. Level up. And another slab. not possible. This can't be happening. I lost. I actually lost. Can't be. Oh, oh but it is. Just take a look at yourself. You're a mess. We did it. We won. So, will everything go back to normal now? Takuma, hurry! Huh? What's the rush? What do you mean, what's the rush? The door's open. If we hurry, we can go back. Once it closes, we may never have another chance to get home. Oh, you're right. We need to get moved. Hold on, you two. Take another look at that door. Is it a fake door? It's not closing. If anything, it's getting bigger. Yes, and that's not all. It's also begun to solidify. 
What do you mean? It's begun to solidify. It's uh getting sturdier, harder to close. I don't know how to explain it. Anyway, the two worlds are starting to join together. Yeah, that's it. it looks like they're starting to fuse. The worlds are fusing? Yes. I have the same impression as Floramond. That door is no longer a temporary thing. Uh, this is bad, right? Can somebody tell me what's going on here? If the door stays open like this, uh, this world and our world will be connected. Okay, but what does that mean? There will be free travel between worlds. Anyone will be able to go back and forth. I think you're probably right. Monsters like Agumon will. The Kamonogami are going to appear in our world? <laughs> Pathetic. What? You? You're still alive? You saw those murals on the way to here, didn't you? Those were diagrams of the two worlds. Which used to be one until they were split apart in ancient times. This world is the one you humans abandoned. The world of instinct. The world of instinct? What are you even talking about? An abandoned world. A crumbling world. Fading. Unnoticed to a solitary destruction. I refuse to allow that to happen. <laughs> now the door is open. That's more raving than response. And both Ultimon eyes look vacant. Can he even still hear us? Or is he too far gone? My vengeance, my rage was not mine I'm alone. My many brethren will destroy the worlds. Now struggle to live on in despair. We still have one last uh, evolution to go. What? What do you? What do we do if he was telling the truth? You know, about there being others. Well, he's probably right about Kamonogami coming to our world bearing grudges. That's terrible. Isn't there anything we can do? Damn it. So both Baltimore's going to get away with this? What are we supposed to do now? Seriously, what's going to happen? What about our world? What about this world, Takuma? I, I don't know any more than you do. I guess if you think about it. Both worlds are likely headed for chaos or something. Yes, think about how surprised we were when we first met Labramon and the others. If our world were suddenly flooded with hostile monsters, there'd be a huge panic. No, it might be worse than that. It could change our world completely. But what can we do to stop it? We can't expect everyone to suddenly be able to open their hearts to the Kamanagami. Oh, wait. What? We're not afraid of Agumon or any of the others anymore. We learned what they were like by spending time with them. Learning more about them. Eventually we could tell which ones were hostile and which ones weren't. Oh, so you're saying... Let's go, everyone. Let's go back to our world. Huh? I don't get it. What are you thinking? Did you think of a way to make things work out? Yeah, it's simple. We know more about these things than anyone. We're the experts on this world, not to mention Agumon and the others. Which means we're the only ones who can save the world as it descends into panic. By teaching the people in our world what we know. You really think we can do it? Well, maybe it wouldn't be possible if it wasn't just us. But we won't be alone. We have our friends. Agumon, everyone. Will you help us? What? You want us to help? Yeah, I want you to come with us. Work with us side by side as partners. You mean, we'd be going to your world with you? That's right. I think your help is going to be crucial. We'll need you to demonstrate that not everything from this world is hostile. This will be no small task. But considering the circumstances, what choice do we have? Hmm. If it means helping Aoi, helping all of you, then of course we will. So we'll be able to stay together. I'll be able to keep helping you, Takuma. I'll do it. 
I'll go with you, Takuma, and stay by your side no matter what. Thanks, Agumon. Thanks, everyone. Let's use our bonds with each other to save both worlds from chaos. Yeah, we'll stick together until the very end. As friends, we can do anything. I don't know if this is going to work out. It sure seems worth trying. Yes, let's do this, all of us, working together. I mean, it's either that or let the world fall to chaos. Maybe it wasn't a doorway back to the world we knew, but I wasn't afraid. Together, my friends and I were going to save this new world. To fight against chaos, even if that meant to a different kind of fight than what we'd been through so far. Oh wait, I have to play again, don't I? It's been a year since then. Well, this looks better than that other ending I got. After we went back, a lot of things changed. Just as we predicted, Kamonogami began to appear in our world. Happened so quickly, people had no time to learn about them before they were everywhere. This led to total chaos in many countries, and so their arrival reshaped the world. During all this confusion, they were growing numbers of children who met Kamanagami they were fated to become partners with, who share a soul like Agumon and me. But not everyone found a partner. In fact, most people didn't. The result was a psychological gap between those who had partners and those who didn't. People feared the power of the Kamonogami, took that out on those who had partners. Eventually, people who had partners faced all kinds of abuse, slander, and prejudice. Disorder and disconnection were on the rise. This world is surely headed for more turmoil. That's where we come in. We've each kept doing all we can to show that humans and Kamanagami can get along. Part of that effort is the lab known as the Japanese Institute of Electronic Symbiotes. It provides daily support so people who find partners can live in this world in peace. So it's not dangerous, really? That's right. Com that Kamanagami, that little one there, is your partner. Treat her kindly, she'll bring no harm to you or anyone else. But everyone says monsters are dangerous. If one of them likes me, then I must be bad. That's what they say. Don't worry, it's not like that. Your partner is a reflection of what's in your heart. As long as you confront what's in yourself, your partner will use that power for good. How do I do that? You just need to be honest about what you want and how you're feeling. That might be hard to do on your own, but now you've got a partner to help. So don't worry, believe in yourself. Trust your partner and learn to be as one, okay? Yeah, okay, I'll try. That was really something, Aoi. I see you haven't changed a bit. You mean that as a compliment? What? Oh, yeah. Although I still think that she can sometimes be a little overbearing. <laughs> well, I didn't do much, really. The important part is what comes next. 
Right. We'll need to keep an eye on her and see how things turn out. <laughs> Providing support for people with partners comes down to a lot of what Ahobi just did. Take care of the kids who've gained this new power and teach them how to use it. We also put our legitimate information on the Kamanagami to combat all the hate. Alright. How much is in this outro? Oh. Oh, Takuma. Aoi. Just who I was looking for. I found a new kid with a partner. I'm about to go bring them in. Do you mind if I borrow Minoru and Falcomon? Just in case. Another one? Have there been more of them lately? I can't keep up with it all. No, really. Don't say that. The poor kid is probably terrified. We're the only ones who can help. Minoru is perfectly aware of that, Aoi. No need to go on about it. Right, Minoru? Of course, I didn't really mean it. I'm happy to give up my day off and keep working hard. Uh-huh. Real convincing. Honestly, sometimes I don't know what to do with you, Minoru, but it's fine, I guess. Good luck bringing in the new kid. I hope you get to them before someone gets hurt. I'm on it. Hey, why don't you come too, Takuma? Not a bad idea. I could use some fresh air. Oh, you're hopeless. Make sure you get back in time for dinner. How much, how much more is it? There are still lots of problems between humans and Kamanagami. There's the discrimination to deal with, not to mention issues caused by the Kamanagami. Um, these things will take time to resolve, and people's hearts will need to re will need to grow. But even so, I believe, I believe if humans and Kamanagami stick together, one day we'll make this work. Believe in yourself. After all, you're one of the chosen kids now. The chosen kids. To be honest, I'm also a little worried. Our hope is to build a world in which kids with partners can live freely. But if we're not careful, those of us who've gained power through our partners could cause great suffering, like Kaito did when he wanted to destroy the world. In the new world, we can't let that happen. People will need to live better lives. And we've all kept working, so no one else will ever know the kind of pain Kaito did. But by treating those with power as special, are we making the discrimination worse? What about the concerns of those who lack partners? Aren't we disregarding them? Yo, Takuma, let's go. Right, yeah, sorry. I'll be right there. What kind of future is this world headed towards? I'm scared. I'm worried about how things will turn out. But despite that, I'm going to keep chasing my dream, fighting the only way I know how. I hope Kamanagami and humans continue to work together and can keep living in this chaotic world. Yes, I'll fight as long and as hard as it takes. Did we won? There. Oh. So 7.69% of people have beat the game on the harmonious route. I'm just gonna... Yeah, I could have let it play a little just to see it. But yes, yeah, save please. So save here. Ah, cool. Gives me a nice little clear. And save uh, here. And uh, here. So now, where does it? Kaito's Dragon has unlocked evolution to Bolt Boltamon. If Ryo's affinity was higher, maybe everyone could have survived. Mm. Eugen Recollection Unlocked. So, how do we new game plus? Like, where does loading this save take me? <gasps> okay, so this is truly the prologue where we saw the beginning where it teaches me how to fight with Gabumon and Renamon. See the tutorial? Yes. 
Oh, I can't evolve. Actually, I don't think doing damage speeds this up any, so. And actually, I'm just gonna auto. So, thank you guys so much for watching Digimon Survive. I really enjoyed this game. Um, I plan to continue the playing um, just to try to save everyone and taking a different path. So I don't know if... So I had the Harmonious. So there's the Wrathful and the Moral ones. So I'll, pro I'll try one of those. I could just reload to that checkpoint. And maybe plow through it, but... I don't know. I hope that was the same as before. But So I'll go through all this again in a future video. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.